Now, I hate to break it to you, but there's no such thing as a baby carrot. The cute little carrots they sell at supermarkets are actually regular carrots that have been shaved down to this baby size. You would think strawberry-flavored gummy bears should be red or pink, right? Well, sorry to say, but they're green. Brown rice and white rice are the same product. The white variety starts off as the brown one, but then some parts of it are removed by milling, which gives the rice its white color. This allows it to be stored for longer, but at the same time reduces the rice's nutritional value. Now, on the topic of rice, it was used to build the Great Wall of China. The builders mixed sticky rice soup with lime and got rice mortar for construction. It was stronger and had better water resistance than regular lime mortar. Thanks to the rice soup, the Great Wall has been able to stand for centuries despite the elements. You found a long-forgotten chocolate bar somewhere deep in your desk. Yum! Nice surprise! But when you open it, you hesitate. There's some unpleasant-looking kind of dusty film on it. Don't worry, though, it's still safe to eat. It's just that the fat or cocoa butter used to make the chocolate has been separated from the rest of the bar because of the heat. As it cooled back down, it created this whitish film. The taste might be a little off, however, so it may be best to use it for cooking instead. And you'd have more self-control than I do. Avocados can't ripen while on the tree. If not picked, they will simply fall from the branch while still not ripe. When picked, though, they will become soft and flavorful just like we love them. This happens because of the burst of ethylene produced by the fruit itself after picking. It's inhibited while the avocado is still on the tree. Tomatoes bought at supermarkets often have a weak flavor. It has to do with how they're grown and stored afterwards. Tomatoes are gathered when not fully ripe yet, and they ripen in the transportation containers and on the store shelves. But if they're stored at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit while not fully ripe, they lose a lot of their flavor. So to keep them tasty, it's best to store tomatoes outside the fridge. Honey is probably the only food that can literally never go bad. If it's properly sealed with no air left in, it can go for millennia and still be edible. The oldest pot of honey ever found was 5,500 years old, next to the mummy of Winnie the Pooh. Nah, not really. While dark and milk chocolate raise no questions, their white sibling isn't chocolate at all. It doesn't contain any cocoa powder, which makes chocolate, well, chocolate. The white variety is made of cocoa butter mixed with sugar and flavoring, usually vanilla. Peanuts are closer relatives to peas than to nuts. They're legumes, the type of plants that includes peas, chickpeas, and beans. Cashew nuts aren't nuts either. They're seeds that are collected from pretty large fruits. The same can be said about walnuts, almonds, pecans, and pistachios. When you buy some sushi rolls with crab meat, what you get is no crab at all. The red and white stuff is what is called imitation crab, and it's basically paste made of fish. Its other name is surimi. By the way, sushi was originally a way to preserve fish. It was stored in fermented rice, which could keep fish fresh for up to a year. And after that, the rice was thrown away while the fish was cooked and eaten. If you get all tearful while cutting onions, there are several ways to avoid that. One is put the onion in the freezer before cutting it. That will freeze the molecules of the chemical that makes you cry. Another method is washing the onion in cool water just before cutting it. The cold and moisture left on the onion will not allow the tearful chemical to get in your eyes. And the third way is to put a wet paper towel next to your cutting board. The chemical gets attracted to the nearest water source, which is usually your eyes. But in this case, it'll be the towel. Now, the vast majority of wasabi we eat isn't actual wasabi. The real thing is very expensive. So what we get is just a mixture of horseradish, mustard, and green food coloring. Be careful when you eat fresh pineapple because it can literally eat you back. It contains an enzyme that digests protein. That burning sensation you get when you've eaten a bit too much pineapple? That's it. Mac and cheese used to be a really fancy dish back in the 18th century US. Pasta could only be imported from Italy, which made it expensive, and the process of making cheese was time and effort consuming. It didn't make the product cheaper either. Only the wealthiest could afford a plate of mac and cheese, and it was served in the fanciest restaurants as a delicacy.
Oysters, lobsters, and pretty much any other seafood, on the other hand, were considered food for the poor back in the day. Seaside communities fed themselves with what they could catch in the sea, and that included mussels, crabs, and a lot of other stuff we consider delicacies today. Wow, I think if I ate mac and cheese with lobster right now, my head would explode. Back to rich food. In medieval times, fish was considered a gift fit for a king. English monarchs were known to be presented with huge pikes. And even before that, in the Roman Empire, fish such as red mullet was a delicacy that emperors paid for with large amounts of gold. Farmed salmon fresh is naturally gray. Wild fish eat a lot of shrimp, which makes their meat that trademark pink-orange color. The farm kind is fed with a special plant pigment for the same effect. The inventor of petroleum jelly, Sir Robert Cheesebro, claimed to eat a spoonful of Vaseline every single day. He also asked his nurse to cover him head to toe in the stuff when he fell seriously ill. He soon recovered and lived to be 96 years of age. All the while, he firmly believed in petroleum jelly's miraculous properties. It was a slick product. Oranges actually gave their name to the color we now know as orange. In Old English, this color was called roughly yellow-red. Only when the fruit became widespread across Europe, the word that signified their color appeared. If you want to take a closer look at a beehive, make sure you don't have any bananas on you. The femorone that alarms bees to rise and protect their home smells like bananas, so you're likely to become their enemy number one if you get too close. Milk was once proved as a material for plastic. It was biodegradable and non-soluble in water and virtually didn't burn. But it was later outperformed by oil-based plastic because the milk-based variety couldn't be molded and became brittle over time. Also, the oil-based kind was a lot cheaper in production. Pound cake got its name for the mass of its ingredients. It was originally made from a pound of butter, a pound of eggs, and, you guessed it, a pound of sugar. So it should be three pound cake. The most expensive pizza you can ever get costs around $12,000. It can only be cooked by three chefs in your home, and it takes three full days to make. Um, do the chefs have to stay in your home? In ancient Egypt, laborers were paid with food. They got radishes, onions, and garlic as part of their wages. These plants were known for their antibacterial properties even then, which made them pretty valuable. Although the most widespread color of cauliflower is white, it also comes in green, orange, and purple varieties. They're more difficult to cultivate than the white one, but aren't much different from it otherwise. As for the overall number of varieties of cauliflower, there are several hundreds of them. To easily test the freshness of eggs, put them in a bowl of water. A fresh egg will quickly go down to the bottom, while a rotten one will float. Hey, last one to the bottom is a rotten egg! Metal buttons on jeans, also known as rivets, helped make the pockets more durable when miners would fill them with heavy tools. They're still helpful today, even if you don't store anything heavy in your pockets. Rivets strengthen the seams and make your jeans last longer. These tiny ridges on the letters F and J on a keyboard help us find the correct keys while touch typing. Also, since they're located in the center, they indicate the optimum position for typing. By the way, QWERTY was invented back in the early 1870s, and before that, the first keyboards were piano-like, with two rows of characters in alphabetical order. Don't blame that little lump on your computer cable for irritating you when it gets stuck somewhere for the umpteenth time. This cylinder, shapes and colors may vary, actually helps prevent interference from other signals, like those your phone emits. A hole in the handle of pots and even frying pans is designed as a holder for spoons if it's large enough. This way, sauce or whatever you stir drops back into the pan, and there's no more mess in the kitchen. As for handles, jerry cans have three of them. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. A lack of privacy in public bathrooms, I mean that significant gap beneath where standard doors tend to be, is there for a reason. This way, people do their business faster, and there are fewer lines. Also, if something goes wrong, it's easy to find a person who needs help. In London, 
Some poles kind of look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes. And they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would take the air and explosive gases with bad smells up to prevent unwanted consequences. Books are printed on large sheets, so one sheet can fit in four printed pages. If a book has an odd quantity of printed pages, chances are you'll get a blank one for notes or the author's signature. Toothbrush bristles have two secret features. First, they fade over time, so when it gets less bright, you gotta buy a new one. Also, the bristles vary in length, and longer ones on one end can help clean the back teeth better. Toothpaste stripes aren't more than a marketing trick. In the 70s, a leading toothpaste brand introduced a blue stripe, claiming their toothpaste had double action. Solid white toothpaste has the same functions, though. Originally, golf balls were smooth. They have a dimpled surface now because players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples. Windshield black dots, or frits, help dispense the sun glaring right into your eyes. This frame keeps the UV rays away and helps the glass heat up evenly, so it's sort of sunglasses for your car. The tab on the rearview mirror wasn't meant to hold your air freshener. It's a tumbler between day and night mode. It keeps the glare from other cars at bay, so you can't be distracted by headlights behind you. Colored dots on chip bags help manufacturers control the package color and show what ink color was used on the package. No big deal. Your microwave probably has a silence mode. Press 1 or 0 and hold. It might work. Also, there is sometimes a mute button you kept ignoring all this time. Anyway, there are no two identical microwaves, so a manual should come in handy. Grocery cart loops help organize all the stuff in your cart better so you can enjoy your supermarket trip. You don't want to put your brand new fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and onions, huh? Fruit stickers know everything about your apple's past. A five-digit number where the first number is nine is a good sign. It's an organic product. A four-digit number starting with three or four means it was conventionally farmed. If the number starts with an 8 and there are 5 digits, it's best to leave it on the shelf. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. If you don't feel like peeling an orange, cut it on top and bottom, make a slit on a side and just pull it open. Toothpicks sometimes have several grooves, and the section with grooves is a makeshift holder. It's easy to break the toothpick into two parts. A smaller one with a groove can be used to avoid contact with the table. You can also make a makeshift stand for disposable sushi sticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. Break that lump off, and when you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point on the ointment tab easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones. They're called ticket pockets, and gentlemen wearing such jackets can quickly pull the tickets before getting on a train. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Hey, you can also slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer. All the bottles used to be of the same green color ones, but it turns out brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. A dollar has its secrets too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. 12 different Federal Reserve banks print all the money, so if you want to know where your money comes from, just look for these small codes. A1, Boston, B2, New York, C3, Philadelphia, D4, Cleveland, E5, Richmond, F6, Atlanta, G7, Chicago, H8, St. Louis, I9, Minneapolis, J10, Kansas City, K11, Dallas, 1112, San Francisco. 
rough edges on the dimes aren't just about design. The weight of coins, made of precious metal, was used to show the coin's actual value. People would shave off the edges, spending the shaving coins with the same value, and melt the edges to make new coins. To avoid it, the minter added that pattern so people could tell if a coin was cut. Small dimples on the bottom of some cups keep them in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let the excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. To enjoy fresh and soft peanut butter, store it upside down. This way, the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly in the jar. Bath foam has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles keep the water hot so that you can enjoy your bath a bit longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat rather fast, no matter how much foam you make. A doorknob made of brass, bronze, and some copper alloys has an anti-germ effect because of its metal properties. A small V-patch right at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less and it's easy to control. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage too. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package, so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. All the disposable cups look the same. The secret here is the special shape that lets you enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider for the nose to fit in while you're drinking, and the bottom is always narrower so anyone can hold it, even if the hand is small. Also, the width difference allows the cups to stack. You can use a mason jar directly onto the blender with a screw on top and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. The only rule is to not put your device on max. There is no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. Two zips for one section can be an excellent pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. If something got stuck in your teeth, it could be hard to have perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. With increased tension, you'll get rid of that basil between your teeth in no time. A tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock is there to drain water to help avoid corrosion. Plus, it's the most convenient place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close easier. A tiny plastic disc under a bottle lid is what makes soda sparkling. While the lid keeps the liquid inside, this plastic disc holds the gases inside. Without it, it would just be sweet water. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue one gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics, for example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. So as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. Glass bottles usually have a kind of indent on the bottom called a punt. It's handy for those who pour drinks in the glass. The bottle won't slip from the hands like this. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang on some hook or holder. There is no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom. It has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. If you lick a Nintendo cartridge, you'll notice they leave a revolting, sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, aka one of the most disgusting flavors. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle if you want to enjoy a cold drink. The same goes for fancy glasses. Their stem saves any drink from overheating. So hold it right. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, slim ties, which this button was designed for, are not that popular today. So this button is only an element of design. All running shoes have an anti-blister system pre-installed. It's the extra hole on top of your sneakers. Make a loop with this hole inserting the lace in backwards. Cross the laces and insert them into the loops. 
Then pull the laces down, creating a kind of lock. Some people like to hide the laces under the soles to make them totally invisible. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left because some women used to have maids who would help them dress up. It was convenient for maids to button the shirts with the button on the left. Silica gel can often be found in different things you buy, like bags, shoes, and many others. It's meant to absorb excess moisture, so anytime your shoes are a bit wet, just throw in a sachet with silica gel. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. Notebook margins were invented to protect people's notes. People used to co-live with rats, and those rodents nibbled on paper pretty often. Still, they weren't able to gnaw on more than the space left on the margins. Red cups you saw at parties can measure liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second line equals 5 ounce, and the third line equals 12 ounces. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. Roadside rumble strips come in handy if someone wants to drive at night since they prevent falling asleep. Whenever a car bumps into these strips, the driver feels vibration and hears quite a loud noise, so the driver can't help but wake up instantly. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. As for rings, three rings on a phone jack are not part of the design. They represent different functions. If your audio jack has three of them, it means your device can produce stereo sound and your earphones have the microphone function. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. We tore off post-it notes incorrectly all this time. If you tear them off from below, they will stick off before long. But if you tear them off on the side, along the sticky line, it will hold on to the wall much longer. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher. Simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all crumbs, dirt, and leftovers, they're all gone. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. Here's why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. If you prefer to buy the milk in those plastic containers, you've probably seen those big circles on the side. These circles absorb the shock if you drop the milk on the floor, and also give some extra room so the container can expand. That's how you can see if the milk's turned bad without tasting it. It's sometimes irritating when you see you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of deodorant out. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. The second thing about the holes is that they allow you to wire electric power directly to the prongs, so you don't even have to use classical electrical outlets. So, if you need to get electrical power via direct wires, yep, the holes we got over there make the entire job much easier. Airplane windows have little holes too, and they're one of the essential features for a plane to fly safely. They protect people from outside pressure and generally balance the pressure on the windows when the plane takes off. A pasta spoon has a hole in its handle, which can definitely be helpful when you grab pasta and want to let water drain out. However, it also comes as a good measuring tool since the hole fits around one serving of pasta. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. They keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. 
It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Sometimes, things have a specific purpose, but you can always give them more rolls. For instance, if you want to eat some applesauce, but you don't have a spoon, just take the lid, twist the end to turn it into a handle, and make a scoop. Yum! You can train finger agility by catching noodles and rice with chopsticks from the corners of the Asian food boxes. Or you can expand the box and then it will become a plate. According to one theory, funny fluffy hat balls appeared in the 18th century on the caps of French sailors. They were tired of banging their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges and had created these pom-poms. Trailers used to be shown not before movies but after. Just think about how it's called. The word trailer means trailer to something. To a car, for example. Wood hangers still occupy a large part of the market because cedar wood, which hangers are made of, contains natural oils which repel moths, thereby preserving your things. To see if the boiled egg was fresh or not, just peel it. The more difficult it is to clean, the fresher it is. There's one more egg trick. Try twisting it. If an egg spins steadily, it's boiled. If it spins slowly or not spin at all, it's raw.